In this first Descendant video, I bring you this amazing farming range, no cooldown, bunny build. This is a build I perfected for myself since the game's release, and as we all know, Bonnie is one of, if not the best, farming descendant in this game. And this build is perfect for what players will want. Insane range, power, and believe it or not, decent survivability too. So let's get into it guys. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in that calibre. To win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my first Descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners are picked and announced at the end of the week, so good luck everybody. Also join my Discord link down below for more first Descendant. So I have been asked tons of times to do a build video on my bunny build, which is what I bring you guys today. This build I've worked on for a while now. I never really planned to make a video on it as a lot of bunny builds are personal preference. But at the same time, Bonnie is one of the more popular descendants, even with those hardcore players. They use her keeper aside for that farming and she makes it stupid easy. Now originally my build for Bunny was more like an all round build, a lot of survivability, a lot of damage, but not the best for farming. This what I show you guys today was actually a build like a second fiddle build I'd switch to from my main when I wanted to farm certain things like XP and so forth. But I ended up actually using this as my main. The problem I had was though the fact um, I'd already used those module sockets based on my original build. So I had to make you with those sockets applied with this build. I couldn't change them obviously. Well I could change them but I didn't want to. But in actual fact guys it turned out to be pretty decent. I'm fine with what I have here. So with this build I've firstly gone for as much range as I could squeeze out a bunny because the more range you have the larger the radius of enemies you will hit and for instances not limited to places like the bunny cave this thing can be utterly crazy as it hits enemies with ease through walls which is what people want a lot of the times with this build guys now I'm hitting enemies before I've even seen them it's that crazy after range I've then gone for power in regards to the main skills we use here those skills are obviously speed of light and lightning emission these will be our main two skills, these are both singular skills too and they're both the main purpose of this setup. This build now is at a point where as soon as that lightning emission runs out, it's ready to use again. So there's literally no cooldown wait. With the speed of light I've used what I can for balance to get as long as possible out of this skill and in reality as long as there are enemies for you to take out, you shouldn't really be running out of this but if you do run out of it, it won't be long before you've got it back. I've also worked with that MP recovery and MP gained through taking enemies out which is great here for this speed of light. Now with this build all modules used here are maxed out and every slot does have a module socket applied but this is an end game farming build for serious players who want to max bunny out. Now in regards to modules I've used here I won't go through where everyone is located but if you are missing certain modules and want to follow this build to find out where they are farmed from it's quite simple. Left tab from the map menu, select modules and then select descendant. Locate the one you need and just press that acquisition info on it and there you have it guys. This is where you can farm said modules. Okay so getting into the build and into the modules we've used here. So the first mods we aim to use were those that affected range. So that's what we went for. So the first one we have is skill expansion. This increases that skill effect range by 92.3%. Crazy. We then have arch acceleration. This increases skill speed, which is great for Bunny obviously, but also that range increase modifier by 19.2%. We then use that maximum range module, which increases skill effect range by a plus 94.4%, uh, but at the same time reduces that skill power by 20%, but that's okay because we make up for this elsewhere. We then lastly on range went for frugal mindset. With a minor skill cost of 8.5%, but a skill effect range of a plus 22.2%. And in total guys using these modules, we get a plus 208.9% range on our skills here. But we do get extra range from other benefits which we'll talk about after. We then went for power guys, skill power. And firstly you want that singular specialist. So singular skill power modifier by a plus 76.1%. This obviously affects the skills we use here which is absolutely great and we then went for electric specialist, electric skill power for plus 81.2%. Pretty cool. 
Now, in regards to range and damage, don't forget guys, Bunny's double jump, when you hit that ground and you give out that wave of electricity, is also affected here as well and can be quite brutal, so do keep that in mind. Okay, so we then built into cooldowns and making these skills basically last as long as possible and to be efficient in what we need out of this build. So here we use energy collection. This one gives you an MP recovery of a plus 57.7%. Let me use MP collector. When defeating an enemy, instantly recovers a 12.2% of maximum MP at a 17% chance. This works quite well, but if I'm honest with you, if you wanted to swap this out for the likes of HP Collector, this would be a good swap out, but it's up to you. Uh, we then use, guys, a skill extension. Skill duration by plus 36.5%. And then guys with this build we look for survivability and here we use the increased HP with the benefit of a plus 218.5% of max HP. Pretty good. And we then guys use Superconductor. This is a transcendent mod for Bunny. Now although the description of this doesn't make much sense, what it does indeed do when fully maxed out it reduces the enemy's attack against you by 20% I do believe while they are suffering from that electrocution Bunny inflicts. Which is great here for what we're using with this build. It really helps a lot. Lastly for our mods we use a long distance maneuvering grapple hook. When this is fully leveled up guys you get a plus 10 in your module capacity if you did not know. If you apply a module socket to this socket right here guys matching the long distance or whatever you use here you get a plus 5 in regards to your module capacity slots. So pretty cool. And those guys are the modules we have on this build but it doesn't end there. Okay so our reactor. So the react here makes a ton of difference and the reactor we went for is a tingling singularity reactor. Mounting choice would obviously need to be the said weapon you use most. My love for the thunder cage is obviously why I went for a thunder cage mounted one. But this reactor boosts electric skill power and singular skill power which is perfect here for bunny. Now in regards to those substats, there are many you could benefit from, skill effect range, a singular skill power boost, skill cost, skill cooldown, electric skill power boost and so forth. Now if you could get skill cooldown and skill range, that would be absolutely perfect, but farming these reactors is pretty tedious, that is for sure. I got a load of the best substats, but they're all on different reactors, so yeah, I'll just swap in and out depending on what I'm doing. Now to figure out where the perfect reactor is for you, it's quite simple. Bring up that world map and make sure you're on that hard mode. Then press in that right thumbstick. The tabs across the top, select what you are looking for in regards to the gun you use and the rounds it takes, the reactor type or even item type, then skill type and then the item type in regards to reactor, components, whatever. We then showcase areas where you can go and farm particular items for a set period of time. Showcase at the top. So yeah, cool. Now back to the build here, with the external components we use, we use two pieces of the supernova set. With these two applied we get a plus 8.6% electric skill power modifier and then we then use two pieces of the annihilation set which increases that skill duration by plus 5.7%. Now these are all the difference in regards to having a lightning mission ready to use as soon as it runs out, so do keep that in mind. Now the annihilation set comes from the hard mode devourer, void intercept boss, and the supernova set comes from the hard executioner, void intercept boss. So yeah, and guys that is basically the build. It's done me amazingly well so far and like I said I'm sharing it because most of these bunny farming builds I'm seeing now are always ultimate bunny, not the normal version, but here you have one guys. I mean this is only a guide, you can change what you want to suit what you want, it's completely up to you, the choice is yours. But here we have an amazing bunny range farming build. Guys if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.